afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome to another exciting and everything amazing propaganda cast from your host, Imperial Dane, the one, the only master propaganda. Your lord and master, the god of your dreams. Off you to a one versus one on Holotny Ferme in the west. It's helping Hans, fighting for Germany, Deutschland. Rolling out here with the 107th Panzer Brigade versus the east. It is C++ fighting for king and country, the commonwealth, the British army. With Commander Regiment, Tactical Support, Advanced Replacements, forming up here the Guards Armoured with Double Infantry Grenades, helping Hansi with German Infantry and Triple Infantry Bulletins. We got a Pioneer Grenadier start there, noting no MD42 in the early game for helping Hans. Could potentially mean a sniper or just a lot of Grenadiers, but considering he's saving a lot of manpower there, I'm guessing it's a sniper here, a German Sharp should so which to put bullets there accurately between the eyes of British infantrymen. And there you go. Sniper up for helping Hans here and the 1-7th Panzer Brigade. Pioneer ceasing territory here and digging in with sandbags. Second section with North first there. Triple section there for C++. Standard British opening. Almost done here. And just continue Norfolk with the Pioneer. Slowly but surely for the fatherland. Equipped there with their MP40s. Grenadiers setting out there. They're technically pioneers, but always been equipped with, you know, rifles. And this is expected to assault position, so, you know. Little fun note there. Additionally, divisional pioneers are also usually considered part of the division's elite troops. They're usually sort of considered a notch above the rest of the division's units. That's also you know, applicable to panzer divisions and whatnot, where the panzer pioneers would usually you know, be considered much better. And similarly, Falchim Pioneers and Falchim Divisions were usually, or Falchim Jäger Divisions were usually also some really tough bastards. Which always make this a bit feel for that bit funny. I know it's more going to some way there for helping Hans. Snipe setting out their gunners meant to support that just in case C tries something they can quickly move in the gunners to screen the sniper. Plus, universe carries here could also be another problem for the snipers in this regard. Either way, gunners being in the sniper is going to prove to be a really good idea there for helping Hans. And the German army section there, right here. We got a full section there for C. He, of course, is now aware of the sniper. We'll have to see how C decides to react to this addition to helping Hans's forces. Could be a fast tick into the AC, could be universal carriers, or could we just you know, try and launch some deep flanks into somehow catch a sniper off guard and retreat and murder the bastard. I've oh, got movement here, going to be saying South Fitz, grabbing the northern munitions there with a sniper. Bit bow there for helping Hans, but he's probably figuring his opponent's not going to immediately try and rush the sniper, so. Bit of a gambit there. Gonna be moving towards the center there, and we got nothing further for helping Hans. No gonna do, it's not MD42. Is he planning another sniper? I mean, that'd be a bit on the ludicrous side. Or is he planning fast tech here? Which could be an option as well, though again, pretty risky then with just double gun and a sniper to then try and go for that. But uh, we'll have to see all the way though. Manpower being floated, resources are standing still there for helping Hans, and the one and seventh panther. And C is going for five sections. He's Way to counter a sniper, it seems, which is decision in this, is to go for a lot of sections. That's very interesting. I don't think I've seen a, this response to the sniper yet, if he's in, at all responding to the sniper with this. I mean... Usually you just see, you know, a player go for four sections and bolster them. Five sections tend to be rare, at least in my experience, tend to indicate they're not planning on bolstering them. They just want a lot more moving elements. They can sort of, you know, move about. But again, they'll be smaller than us in that sense, easier to wipe. But again, if you can handle them all, I mean, you can sort of perform more advanced tactics than with just four bolted sections that can be five unbolstered. Of course, it tries to bolt all of them. That's going to be quite manpower intensive there for C. It could potentially backfire on him. More gonna do somewhere they're helping hands. We've got four gonna do there. Once now, there's the five infant sections. Now they're forced to fall back in the face of the sheer mass here that C++ is deploying against him here with the guards armoured. Six now holding up, we need to be careful, sniper they're opening up soon, four kills, and we got grenades. So it looks like he's not going to bolt him again, he's going to rely on simply having more moving elements on the battlefield rather than fewer but larger elements. So that's very interesting here, and there you go, tries to go here for the sniper with a section, doing some damage. Probably can't kill it, but push it down to at least roughly half health. Take up there happening for helping Hans the 1 7th Panther Brigade. More sections moving up. Will Hans be ready for the Mills bomb now? Grabbing the fuel pawn there and denying it to helping Hans as well. That's going to be very good there for C++. It was also managed to take up there. Very nice work. AC Mark III there being requisitioned and will then likely push it out. Probably anticipating a German like vehicles. And of course, the AC can just prove to be a bit of a nuisance for helping Hans with a sniper under the right circumstances. But so far, we're not really seeing a lot there out of helping Hans in terms of docks. And admittedly, that's because 
A, he first had to take for the 250 half and the rest requires two command points and above, and he's, well, close to being there, but there's a bit more to go. We'll have to see what he ends up with here, ground the northern point here. Brief connection there with the fuel pump, well, meaning he does get more fuel, but of course with this helping hands going straight for the cough one there, helps offset whatever fuel advantage that C++ might be aiming for. Troops sitting out there, nothing further going on there. Oh, wait, 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 he cancelled the AC requisition, alright. Helping Hans got a banker there, medics on the way, take up dump, but nothing further there. Section versus sniper up north, section there, taking rather high cash with the Starman Force Retreat. It kills them, we got Gunnismen, and they could take out the section on the retreat there, maybe, if uh, there's a bit of bad luck there for C. And I was going for the AC again, so apparently C is suffering from a case of indecision in the face of Helping Hans. Can't quite make it up his mind on what he wants to do in the face of this naked German aggression. Section in there, we might see a grenade here. A Mills bomb. There we go. Quick retreat there. Continuing almost in the south here. Fuel reconnected. No reinforcement there. AC requisition. And we got the 250 half tech out here for helping out, so we did go for it. I was a bit unsure here. I mean, a bow handle 250 half tech can be quite nasty, in particular with the stormtroopers in it. In particular, versus the British, who do lack snares on their basic infantry. A 250 after he can be quite, you know, powerful. Of course, this is where the AC comes in. And in this regard, the 250 after could be argued to be a bit on the late side. But then again, you can sort of just keep, you know, reasonably within safe distance. There was some gunners to panzer fast the AC. He must have a chance to make some use of it. Either way, 250 after they're mobilized. Like to shoot some panzer wagon. Which would, by the latest stage of the war, well, more or less the chassis at least be used to fully for armoured cars. With the 250 and half tech taking over the role there of reconnaissance unit half track as well. Little fun track there, actually. AC, they're almost done there for C. 250 half tech going in there, going in aggressively, machine gun hammering away there for the fatherland. She's in the centre victory point. In the south, you've got Pioneers of the section. The only thing that helping hands does have a bit of a lead there with C, but not a massive one either. Nothing critical as yet. 250 after get could go for a wipe in the section. Already negative cover, but got the AC on the way there. Will helping hands be ready for that? Or will he be able to, or willing to risk E250 after he just went for for the sake of wiping a section? And certainly getting a wipe here would be good, but there we go. Would it be worth the AC? And there goes Gunnish Move and a Panther Fasted. He might try and get around the corner, in which case it might work out. No, no dice there for helping hands. There's a more or less factory fresh 250 half track that went down there again will it be worth the trade-off though that's a bit one that's harder to say this is a section of 280 manpower 280 250 half tech is roughly 210 manpower plus 20 fuel so i mean roughly sort of the same in terms of cost of course the section only meant to do some damage rest the 250 half to help finish off the unit so mm. No one's entirely sure about that one. Not entirely sure about that one. You could argue, I think, for both. But personally, I don't think I'd consider that fully worth it. Back here, nothing further going on there for C++. Yet we've got healing, we've got reinforcement. Sapper's all out there. Quickly fixing up the AC Mark III. I think Hans, yeah, he's might actually be playing here for a uh, tier 3 rush. I mean, so far I haven't seen anything in tier 2. And in theory, he could pull it off if he uses the Stormtroopers with Panther Strikes. I mean, that could sort of slightly cover up for it. So that would be you know, a bit on the riskier side. Admittedly. But there you go, fresh pioneers up. Might be for the lack of making a nice company of helping out. And there you go, that's going to be a pack forward. And then most likely he'll deal with the AC. He could also consider ending in some Pantagon dealer versus all the allied infantry. Snarly there with 14 kills so far, half eight, 52 in the south. Pioneers moving, or sappers moving up there, clearing out the uh, bar wire quite efficiently. Plus a few squirrels. And it is holding up here. Noting that Helping Hands has yet to upgrade any of the these with anything. No light machine guns, no veteran squad leaders. And there you go, Pack 40, the Panzer up there, Kanoni Fjordzik. He's being mobilized here for Helping Hands in the German army up north, going to the section here. But already doing a bit poorly there versus section heavy cover, and of course with the cover bonus versus the Grenadiers, just only have light cover to hold up behind. Just gonna pop up there and I think try and get off a grenade here. There we go, Mills bomb. Nope, retreats. Interesting. I do think he could have pulled it off, but he probably might have been worried about the sniper wing, and in fact, had he gone for that, he might have just suffered a sniper catch, in which case there's a good chance it could have gotten a wipe. So I guess C++ there's some pretty good senses there. Pack 40 almost done. There we go, in fact, it is done. 
I'm guessing helping Hans after the pack four is going to move straight on for tier three and begin pushing out hands of fours. This is also the more risky move if he tries to push straight hit for tier four. Back in C++ base, nothing further going on. He's got manpower, he's got fuel. He might be planning to take up himself soon as well. AC blasting away. North we've got the section going out. We've got Snub opening up, they're getting a quick kill there. Closing in the mid-tier two very slowly, very steadily. Flamin' the for Pioneer opening up the AC. Obviously not going to do much in game. In the actual world though, Flamethrower could be a bit uncomfortable for a vehicle crew if uh, the Flamethrower was actually able to hit, say, the engine parts of the vehicle. Take on a tank. Plus, it just generally make the tank really hot. Which, of course, is also quite uncomfortable. Sap is there, wiped out. Bit of a blow there to C++. Mine goes off in the south. Pioneer's almost wiped out. No, they're stuck against the section. And the fence... Well, that's really bad luck there for helping Hans. So apparently the section can't hit a point blank range. There we go, got the Pioneers. Bit of a painful loss there for helping Hans. Lost the Pioneer squad to that. That never feels good to be honest. AC then needs to fall back here to C++ in the British Army. Before the Pack 4D fills it up with very large armor piercing rounds. More sappers replace one's loss. The active bolts of the section, probably after the loss of the shift section. He figured it why as well not. That he had planned all along, in which case I'd say that's a bit risky. But there you go. Note here again how to wait C plus plus again. You know, he keeps Hans occupied in the assembly's tribes, but also you know keen on sort of outmaneuvering him and sort of hit the resources consistently. So thumbs up there to C plus plus. I'm sure helping Hans is not quite as appreciative of it. Take up on the way there for helping Hans, so that's gonna be the support McCall. I imagine that again the uh, there is the potential of him trying to push ahead. No, he's going for another section. He's actually both it, and he's going for five sections anyways. Wow. That's um, a bit interesting. Again, it's a very infantry heavy strategy, a bit greedy in some ways, a bit risky. I mean, I guess he's going to go for commander regiments. Is that going to be the one that works the best with assault? I mean, five bolts a section and then popping assault means he could make some really big attacks that could really leave helping Hans in a very bad spot. And he still has not upgraded any of his clan as he is. No bother with stormtroopers. I mean, only so far thing he's gone with the German infantry is the 250 half track, but not all of some of the other, I would say, really good elements of the doctrine so far. A bit peculiar. Back here, healing reinforcement. Nothing further going on there for C++. Still no doctrine. Although again, commando. Very much just sort of feels like it's going to be the natural fit and pick here for C++. But again, he could just decide he wants to go for something else. That probably wouldn't be particularly keen on either of those two. Are you see gunning down the pioneer here in cold blood? Take up down there, can build the support McCoy again. He could try and go for tier four, though that would be a bit on the ambitious side. Gonna leave snow, there could be a bit of an issue there for T sections. Sweeping for the south, victory points wise is 180 versus 343. In this regard, helping Hans is only maintaining a good lead over C. Sections heading out. Tilly called in there to deny a strong point there for helping Hans. And there you go, you see. Could try and go for the sniper, but he's likely, I think, in part worried about the potential of telemines, which, if he decides you know, to rush in there after the sniper, you know, would blow a party say, you see, at which point he just wasted, you know, manpower and fuel for no real good reason. So I imagine that might be the course there that help uh, that C++ is not immediately just diving after the uh, sniper there with his AEC. And he is in fact going for tier 4 here, helping Hans is feeling rather bullish, rather bold. He is very much willing to commit to a tier 4 move here, feeling he's in the situation where he to get away with it. So that's an interesting and very aggressive move there in some ways by helping Hans. Strategically aggressive, obviously. Immediately aggressive, not so much. Other way, though, that could mean a far, uh, Panther out there first, which certainly could prove a problem there for C++ to deal with in like the short term. He's got nine to tank weapons, only got is the AEC Mark III, and that's not exactly a Panther killer. It's not even really a Panther tickler. And their company command post out. 
Ooh, Peck falling in the bit of a bad spot. There are a lot of sections opening up. The sniper falling back. We got 27 kills. Southway threatening three. Take up down there for helping hard. He has the heavy panzer call. Then he can begin pushing out the glorious panzers and strong panzers. The witch to destroy the British insel Affen. And the Russian T's. Back here to reinforce and got the AC moving out there. Six kills, Russian to one. AC on the move there, pursuing the kind of AC. Sorry about that, apparently I've forgotten to clean up my hard road, but it's ran out of disk space. But anyways, back on track here between the Germans and the British. New missions catch up, his well helping hands, interesting choice them. I'm sending up here for some fragmentation bomb shenanigans down the road, or assault and hold. Again, a very good ability, but one which I feel like isn't quite gaining as much respect as it deserves. We got heavy pants call there being built by the pioneers, laboring hard to throw down those sandbags as other elements of the structure just mysteriously appears from the ground. But the pioneers have been trained not to question it, which is probably like 50% of the training. But there you go, finally got some upgrades there for Holding Hunter's Gun. At least we've got veteran school leaders being added into it, that's very good. But again, you could, I think, benefit from it sooner. And we got artillery called in here of red smoke flare there, signaling to the British artillerymen that this stuff needs to be flattened fast. Ooh, it's not a bit caught with the second, but with that, Bren guns and a bit of good light there. In fact, they managed not to hit a single time. That's got to be frustrating there for C. I mean, some of them are pretty close to the sniper. Well, you can soon go for a Cromwell tank. Of course, we're helping Hans going for Panthers. He could potentially end up feeling like he might want to go for something a bit bigger. But either way, though, getting out a tank faster, though, would certainly also give him at least something to work with here against helping Hans. Pioneers to Mingan, Sex Mingan, they like to get a Millsbrum off here. Try and take out that cash and deny helping Hans his resources there. He's not a bad idea in the south, though. Helping Hans to take advantage of the push in the center north to sweep up for the south and possibly threaten here. C fuel as well. Note the way the pioneers were moving in first. He wanted to make sure he didn't hit a telamine with his AC, though. He's close to risking losing the AC to something else. Bigger profile here around the car point and the fuel point here. AC falling back further. We got the crumb on the way to C. Helping Hunter is not far off from what Panther, though. Could go for the Storm Panzer. Could suddenly decide to go for that one. C, however, has still not chosen a doctrine. I'm feeling a bit disappointed about that personally. You could definitely have done something like that sooner. Helping out, got plenty of manpower floating about. You can definitely, I think, get away with going for, say, Stormtroopers or a Panther on this squad and then going for a Panther or a Storm Panzer. Whatever this be, that helping hounds the size. Section routed, back here, troops and enforcing. AC being repaired. Cromwell almost down there for C and the Guards Armored Division. And the South Company season points here. And he's about to go for that fuel point next. So we can see though that C++ might be an infantry to intercept that move. Still he's actually got both fuel points to control against. It's getting more fuel than helping hands by a notable margin. Cromwell setting out there. Tank commander yet to be added. He would benefit from that. And there goes Gunnies retreat. Center word going these grand points here. And the north finally getting for that fuel point again again. Cromwell hit all landing some nice hits and there you go, adding the tank commander to the Cromwell. Pack 40 sending up here, directed it on the Pack 40. Oh, he's going to get Panther fast as well, he's got no infantry about to support. This is actually a bit of a bad move here for um, C++, what a bad situation here. He needs to get some troops out to immediately support or else risk losing the Cromwell here fast, which would be pretty damn bad here for him. Got the AC moving in there. Goyak to manage to turn the situation around here in his favor. He might be able to seize the pack 40, which would then be a bad development for helping Hans on the other hand. So, nice recovery here by C. And now it's helping Hans. It's time to be a bit uh, in a sticky spot here, though. He's got the pamp on the way. He's bringing up a machine gun. Finally, rather late for that one, but you know, better late than never. Gun is being routed. Almost got the cash here. There we go. Munitions cash down. Sap is moving up into repair. He definitely should grab that pack 40. Panther almost done there for helping Hans. C++ still without a doctrine. 
And you got pack 40 seized. Not worth noting he did it with the sappers. I'll wait putting back his vehicle. So need to get that pack 40 out there before it gets wiped, but it might actually be too late already. Oh, he could all, yeah. Moving up there to deploy smoke using the AC there to then cover the retreat of his units. Very nice play there. The pack 40 keeps sort of stilting up there. Might be some pathing issues. He just keeps clicking the wrong places. I don't know. So, looks like in the end he's not going to be able to salvage that pack 40 entirely, but you know, he made the effort. And now, the Panther arrives here, and that's going to be a problem there for C++. So he's getting more Cromwells, but he may feel like he's going to need some Fireflies instead, and that probably be the better choice there. Now we're destroying the pack 40 just to make sure that Helping Hands does not recover it. C++ deal with that adoption, we're at the 20 minute mark, and he's kind of sort of indecisive on that one. Panther going for the EC. Oh, penetrating hit there on the Panther with the AC. That's impressive. Panther moving ahead here. AC misses. Direct hit here. He's looking like he's committing fully to the crumbles though. Another penetrant hit from the AC on the Panther. And there you go. Man, just sort of slowed down a bit. Immobilizing it entirely. Wow. That's actually a bit of a bad moment for helping hearts. I don't think he expected. I mean, most players never make use of that ability to target tread, but uh, clearly C++ did, and it completely confounded helping hearts here. Damaging the engine of the Panther as well, but he kind of lacks a sort of way to finish it off there, which is probably helping hearts's big save in this point. He just lacks a finisher. Got another pack 40 down the way, you see finding opportunities in the north. Need to get that Cromwell fixed up, need to get some more samples to help with that. Sniper there by the way, east level with 39 kills, very good work there. Almost got the cough point back, in fact he's almost got the other cough point back as well, at which point he's going to have control of both fuel points again, and they'll be sending lots of sweet precious fuel there to C++. Gonna lose their finding their cover shattered by the Cromwell. Panther being fixed up here, prioritizing it very swiftly. Also, not he's already got upgraded the pioneers with veteran squad leaders to help them repair stuff faster. Thumbs up there to helping hands. More Savage C. Also very good. 300 points left there for him. 404 for helping hands. Cromwell falling back again, other Cromwell good to go, but I feel like he's gonna need some entertainment. So there you go, we got tactical support by the way. He's calling in every supply operation, which provides him of course with an anti-tank gun and a mortar plus some other bits there. And it's likely the entertainment he wants, but a mortar is not gonna be you know, useless against helping hands either. So I mean that's definitely an option to go for then. Of course, it does give him the crocodile there's a late game option as well. If things drag out long enough here versus helping hands. On the south, digging in there. And to tank them crude. And nabbing the altar there as well once Lawrence gets in there. So all of a sudden there, C++ has managed to expand his arsenal notably. Helping hearts bring in more pioneers, like you just help with repairs. Never hurts to you know, have two large pioneers for to do the repairs there. Panther takes right here from the Cromwell, though on its own the Cromwell's still not going to have an nation chance as the Panther. Almost got the sniper there, though. In fact, gain veterans. You run from all the experience again there from almost taking out the sniper. Six point gun moving up, but the sap is going to need to work on that Cromwell fast. Trench ready on the calf point. The positioning of it is, is a bit questionable since if Helping Hearts occupies the trench, he can then grab the point from a much safer position, I think. So, a bit risky there, to be honest. Panther finally got three kills, veterans one. Six point gun move, gun on the move. But Panther there sweeps away there before C++ and Tangan can line up a shot on it. Got the Mortify though, beginning to rein in on Helping Hans' positions and Helping Hans lacks artillery. At the moment he can't easily respond to this in any way or manner. There we go, half his machine gun crew going there to C++ Mortar and we got here field recovery operation for more sappers faster. I mean, that's definitely a way of doing it. Flashing in theory, you know, you could also you know, salvage some of the tanks for extra resources if it ever happens. And remember, he has the capability. 
Crom hunting Norfolk's there. Southern point being seized there, Palming Hans, keeping up pressure on the victory points. Very good. Less good for C though. A lot less good. Yes, things are going to be happening fast now with him controlling not a single victory point here, Trip Healing and Forcing. He could consider choosing a specialization there, but again, I feel like his end game right now is going to be the Crocodile. Rather than, say, Comets or Churchill Tank. Panther Moon Head here. Let's we'll see what Helping Hands ends up with there. More Panthers, Storm Panzers, Panzer Panzerwerfers. There we go again, Helping Hands there. Once more finding himself with the targeted treads and an immobilized Panther here. Once more, C++ doesn't quite have the ability to finish it. Apparently, the Antitank can't see it and shoot through there. So that's a bit of bad luck there for C++. Pretty good luck there for Helping Hands. Oh, that Panther could have been suffering a lot more damage, a lot faster than possible, could have been destroyed there. So, close one there. Close one there, though. Pretty impressive he's managed to nail a Panther like that two times in a row. That's not something you get to see a lot of times. And thumbs up to C++ for that one. Snub there with 42 kills, almost dead. Mortifier could prove to be a bit of a problem there for Helping Hands. And that I imagine is going to be exactly what it's going to try and find that general direction. Back here, troops are enforcing up north in from the northern victory point. Very good. Trying to grab the center one, but there's too many Germans with too many guns. Hard work here on the AC and the Cromwell. Sab is there hard at work. Oh, I'm being reinforced for the time being. I had to recruit the mortar there. And we got another trench here. C++ shifting over to a more static strategy at certain uh, junctures. Switching uh, his armor movements there around a bit. Likely looking to try and pressure helping hands from another angle, which isn't a bad idea at all. Panther close 52 and the addition of Schutzen. Directed here on the Cromwell from the anti-tank gun there, which helping out to pull forward. We got a special in there, very nice, but he needs to you know, push forwards with it, otherwise it's not going to do too much. Panther up north, let's just push back. C++ infantry. Big two points wise, it's 381 versus 234. Trench there holding up some of the helping hearts as infantry, as they can't need to deal with it. Pack 40 on the Cromwell, need to pull back with it, or smoke. Oh, Panther on the way there, it's going to be too late, he definitely has to pull back now. Cromwell there, dodging a hit there. Once more, trying hit, and he does it again. He immobilizes the Panther for a third time in a row. That's damn impressive. In this case, he's again once more unable to really follow up on it, but I imagine it sort of must give uh, helping hands a bit of, you know, system shock. Come here, in there, close to the ace level section there, also close to the ace level. Quick retreat there, though, since they are uncovered and the section of the Gunnaviers aren't. Nothing further going on in the base, but it definitely looks like the crocodile is going to be a late game for helping hands. Again, if expecting it, and he probably should be, another Panther would be the uh, good choice as the crocodile to ensure doesn't get to do much. Tanks being fixed there, double savage on work. And you see they're close to the ace level as well. Bit of quiet here, healing enforcement there. Got the Indy Fortress with a blasting way here at C troops. We got Panzer gonna deal on the way there for helping hands. A late choice there, but I don't think a bad choice. From the holding back. Bit of quiet here as C trying to figure out his next move as helping hands, and helping hands of course is trying to figure out what is his opponent's move as well as well. But he's more or less got the resource for the same Panther it comes down to it. He just lacks the population. So similarly, C++ got the fuel. He lacks the manpower, but he also lacks the population to get out of the crocodile. So we'll have to see where that ends up ultimately. Well, he's soon going to have the population here once he loses the uh, Cromwell there to Helping Hans' Panther. Betty 2 Panther, shoots and added. AC moving in there. Need to be careful there though. Oh, he's going to get caught here by the gun of these, I think. Unit wiped out. Looks like he might be able to save the Cromwell. did lose a section elsewhere in the process. Put him down just four. 
Panther continues ahead here. Almost got the Cromwell there. And there we go again. Immobilizing the Panther for the fourth time in a row. Entertaining the trying to flank with the wiped out there. From this perspective, so he can't crew the anti tank and then turn against the Panther. AC falling back. Panther so far is missing it. Oh, snap. Panther takes a hit but gets away. Blitzes off from the ground. And now helping Hans is committing to Storm Panther for the sun. He does need another Panther here. In the south, defense of the victory point there is a bit tricky there for helping Hans to come to break without support. And that could well be where the Storm Panther 4 comes in. Or a second Panther. But he's going to need to fix up these Cromwell here, Mr. C. Anti tank and crew annihilated again. We got the Panther not to destroy it. We can't stop the AC. And he's finally going for a Firefly. Looks like the Crocodile plan is uh, discarded, at least for now. As C++ commits to the Firefly tank, so I'd have a better chance as the Panther. Probably something to help punish it with a bit better. I'm typically going to mobilize it and then hit it with like the two rockets. That could quickly be a heavy Alpha Strike there, which could destroy it, helping answers Panther. Firefly, they're halfway done. Anti tank then destroyed, leaving C for the meanwhile without any anti tank weapons. Except the Cromwell's really against the Panther and the Sturm Puzzle, which is inbound. More chilly called in, I think, to the shop. Helping Hans and Moon's got 367 versus 207. Cromwell, Ace AC moving in, they're going to be taking heavy hits. Helping Hans is packed 40 moving up. And there you go, direct hit here on C++ Ace AC. And finally his Fireflies is arriving here. His tank destroys the British by the way called it, a self-propelled anti-tank gun. They did not operate with the term tank destroyer, as a fun note. Finally in the south here is not looking good there for C++, though gun leaves moving in. Cromwell moving in. Cromwell AC Firefly hanging back. We got all the second Cromwell moving up. We got Smotion down here to help retreat. Save up. Get the second survival on the retreat. Panther moving up. Storm Panther backing up here. We need to get the rest of the stuff in there. Cromwell taking heavy damage here from the Panther already. The unit wiped out here. C is dying to struggle here against helping out in the German army. Panther moving in there, flanking behind the Cromwells. On the other hand, oh, quickly moves around the train there. Crush it. Still could get hit with the AC there and immobilized. Can we do it on time? Great hit by the Firefly there. And there you go. We got the target treads, but a bit too late now. A bit too late. Bit too late this time around. Great in the Sturm Panzer. Large armor class in the south here. Cromwell explodes. Down one tank. Pack 40 joining in the front as well. They almost got the Firefly. Cromwell charging in there. But on its own. I don't think that's going to work out too well. AC Firefly trying to take another path. There you go. Damaged engine on the Cromwell. Panther anti tank in there surrounding it. And there you go. Panther gains the ace level S C. Cromwell tank explodes, incinerating the crew in a matter of seconds. And there you go, GG game over C++, and the guard's armor has been defeated here by the 1 in 7th Panzer Brigade with, well, Panthers. It's a nice play there by Helping Hans. Some nice use of the docks, and they would have liked to have seen some stormtroopers or some assault and hold, but still overall handled those units quite well. And C++, I think, also did some nice moves, but at times I feel like strategically he made a few mm, questionable decisions. And I'm not entirely sure he wanted that much infantry, to be honest. And at times you could also flank more against helping hands. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed this match. Though. And again, I also feel like A, he chose the doctrine way too late. And things should have gone for commanders. Again, I think a good assault there with all those sections could have proved to be quite devastating versus helping hands. But anyways, hope you enjoyed this match. Hope you learned something from it. If you did, subscribe, like, share, comment on it, tell your friends, tell your family, but don't tell your enemies. And if you like what I do, which you seem to continue doing, do consider donating by PayPal or pledging on Patreon. Our way this way, providing me with you know money for the war effort. So thank you all, you all, one for audience. And I hope to see you all tomorrow again for another sounding episode. Bye.